What's our? We're gonna say A B audio head slate. Is that the right thing I'm supposed to say? Well, there's three cameras, so it would be A B C cam. A B C cam. That's all I'm saying. Audio A, B, head slate. A B C cam audio head slate. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, we are in Dallas for Coffee Combos. We've never been here for it. And June is Pride Month, and a bunch of my friends are gonna be on the podcast telling us their stories. I don't know, it's all new territory for us. Okay. So Lindsay and I are in Dallas and we were podcasting here. Um, we had all kinds of guests. It's been a complete shit show and we've never done like a Q&A or anything like for like vlog style, I guess. Yeah. Or I mean like we've done Q&A, but just like on Instagram, like yeah. how everybody else does it, I guess. I feel but like we do it. People watch often. our videos that I've been posting on YouTube. So I figured that we could do like a quick Q&A sesh. Yes. But before we do... Let's talk about this trip to Dallas. Um, I don't do well with dysfunctional stuff, and I know that you do. Like, you're fine with it, and you, like, function through it, but if things go awry, I go awry. Right. Like, I get, what would Adam say? Like, your panties and a knicker, and uh, your knickers and a wad? Knickers and a wad. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah. You get your knickers and a wad, and I And I, get, I don't. Yeah, Kale doesn't get her knickers and a wad. But we did go to this really cool, um, art gallery that had like a bunch of like neon art that was cool for pictures. That was like the highlight of the day. Highlight of the day. But we are staying at a really pretty hotel. Yes, we're staying at the Crescent Court in Dallas. And I'm having some nice champagne. Got and, some water. Um, Kale's got strep or mono. Can't be sure. And we're about to answer some questions. So, okay. I got on Instagram. Oh my God, wait. Oh my God, I don't even want to know. I want. <laughs> okay. Um, I posted a little boomerang on Instagram and said, "Quick sesh, like, and let's let's get some questions going." So, I haven't been on my social media all in day. Three days. You're not good with that. Like, I'm really good with like multitasking, and you're not doing all the things. Okay. Yeah. So. The first question we got was, does Lindsay know how to play the guitar? No, but I'm gonna lie and say yes. So we'll have to show the clip of you strumming. strumming. And we'll let you guys determine if I can play. Have you ever held a guitar before? Yeah, of course. Okay. I'm from the South, are you kidding? Okay. Um. Have y'all ever actually argued? By the way, I love coffee combos and literally relate to everything. Well, first of all, thank you. Um, I don't know why we're very relatable. Um, I feel like we're pretty... We're relatable. I don't if know. If not to like just one of us, to like parts of you and parts of me. Yeah, like we're we're like a relatable together. Yes, like a duo, duo. dynamic duo. Yeah, um, um, but have we ever argued? Yes, we yes, have. We have. We both threatened to quit the podcast a hundred times. And so. I'm going to cancel on Kale if she cancels on me again. I didn't cancel this trip though. You almost did. Yeah. And I even got sick and have a doctor's note and still didn't. A care. doctor's <laughs> note? Who says that? Oh, I like, have a doctor's I note. I had to go to work. I have to go to work. I need a doctor's note. But in all seriousness, neither of us are really quitting the podcast. It's like pissing matches. You know, it'll be like okay, well, I want it this way or I yeah. want it that way. And then... But how do we ever move on? One of us always apologizes. Yeah. Or... It's normally kill. Yeah. I feel like that's accurate. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite thing about each other? Mm. My favorite thing about Kale is that she doesn't care. There's a few favorite things. She doesn't care. Um, she doesn't care. <laughs> And she doesn't care. I do Those care. Are I have a lot of things. feelings. And no, Kale does have a lot of feelings, but she masks it really well. And 
if something's bothering her, she can seem to like, I know it's bothering her because I know your personality and like mm -hmm. who you are as a person, but I feel like you do a good job of like hiding it from other people if something's going on. Like I don't do, I'm not a good like finesser. Finesser? Or whatever you call it. I need like, that sweater that Jake, Drake wore. Did you see it? It was uh -huh. said, like Tennessee, but he made it say finesse. Oh, that's cute. So cool. I love it. I was like, I need that. Uh, I'm not good at like, like I'm just gonna say it, you know, like. Yeah, say exactly how you're feeling. Yeah. But there's pros and cons to both of them, like how I am and how you are. Yeah, so your turn. My favorite thing about Lindsay is her wit. Like she comes up with shit like on the fly and it's so fucking funny because you won't even expect it. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> what? what was that? <laughs> right, and I'm just like, I wish I was that witty. So I love it. This, but the, witty isn't like something that you know that you are. You know, it's like you it, just you like just say have stuff. have it. Yeah. yeah, like it's just a thing that yeah. you have. Yeah. Like it's probably like built into your personality. Yeah. And I don't have that. So um, I strive to be like you. I wonder if it could be taught. Like if I'm around you enough, could I learn it? Maybe. Probably but maybe not. it would probably not be like natural because then you might be trying to copy my wit. Right. So you then know? it wouldn't be as funny either. Yeah. So it's probably not a good yeah. idea. Okay. Then I'm going to call you a scammer. Um, let's see. I'm trying to. Some people want us to take calls, but I'm not giving them my phone number, so. Oh um, yeah, should we tell people about somebody getting our phone number and group texting us? Yeah, okay, so the other night, I think it was actually the night before we came to Dallas, somebody put us in a group chat and called us dirty hoes or something. Yeah, and we were like, who is this? Who is this? Well, we text each other outside of that chat. First, before first. we responded. And we were both texting at the same time because it was like bubbles on her end and I know that yep. I was texting her because we both got it at the same time. And I was like, oh who my. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, who is that? Like who would have both of our numbers? And it's somebody who was texting us from an email because it had the email. Or I guess maybe they're. But like when I text Leah from my show, it comes yeah. up as her email. Oh wow. How does that work? I don't know. Apple's weird. Yeah. Well, this person was texting from their email, came up with an email address, and um, they were sending us like gifs or whatever. GIFs. GIFs. GIFs, gifs, whatever. They're definitely gifs. Yeah. For sure. If it's GIFs. a gif, comment below. Comment below. If it's a gif, don't comment, comment below. at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Would you two ever take a vacation together? Yes, but if we if we vacation together, then I feel like it would be like a coexisting vacation. We would be at the same place, but we might not necessarily be doing the same things at the same time. Right. I think that yeah, like, like we, we might, might meet up do, like for to like do lunch, lunch or like do like an excursion. Yeah. But probably not do like the whole entire vacation together. Yeah, because I enjoy different, way different things, way different things in Kale. Like my ideal vacation would be obviously like I have a kid so I'm gonna go to the pool and like yeah. do all those things mm -hmm. but I'm gonna probably sit poolside and you know have some delicious drink and some quesadillas and stuff and <laughs> you're gonna be like gonna on be an out. excursion on a zip line tour yeah like for sure probably dying somewhere yeah. somehow with like swimming activity. with sharks and like doing stuff like that and I'm yeah. that doesn't really catch my interest to be honest like dying doesn't catch my interest so I read something on Instagram the other day and it said um everyone die, everyone's gonna die so choose a fun way to do it and I feel like I you literally live, you by, live that by that but every I don't, single day I don't live by that I live by <laughs> I want to live for a while so protect myself while you're living while I'm living okay yeah fair enough I think that's fair that's probably like, what, five questions. Um, will the podcast take a summer break? No. no. Do For we sure look not. like people who take breaks? <laughs> probably. People don't understand how much work that we put into the podcast, podcast because they think other podcasts don't really do what we do. They don't do like the photo shoot. And so many people ask that question. I feel like... Um, people are like, well, why do you do hair and makeup for podcasts? And why do you do this for that? Well, because we're doing other things other than podcasts. It's like, well, we might be doing a Q and A for you guys while we're sitting here. Do you want us to look like a busted can of biscuits? I don't think so. <laughs> so um, well, maybe they do. We try to take the opportunity while we're together in podcasting to do like our Instagram deals or, um, you know, we work with a lot of brands that need content for their, whatever they use it for. And, um, I don't know, like there's a list a lot that we pack into the time that we have together while we're podcasting. And so it's not just podcasting. And it's like a professional thing, you know? Like I'm not just gonna post random 
stuff on Instagram. Like, I mean, I am. Kale is gonna do that, <laughs> and that's perfectly fine. But Lindsay's not but gonna do I'm that. I'm not gonna personally do that, and the podcast page wasn't like built that way, so. True. Lindsay yeah. really was, is the backbone of the whole social media thing for us, for the podcast. So I don't think that there's any other podcasts that have over 100,000 followers and, you know, an engaging audience on social media because it's usually like they listen to their favorite podcast, but maybe you're not engaging on social media with them. Does that make and sense? And if you guys are watching, which if you're listening to what I just said, that means that you're watching. So um, make sure that you follow us on at Coffee Combos Podcast on Instagram so that you can engage with us because we talk like most common questions on there every week. We always we read, mes Lindsay reads a lot of the messages on the podcast that we get. Yeah, and I love reading some of them. Some of them I don't understand, but then <laughs> some of them are really fantastic. And right. um, some of them are cussing us out. And I also just- We get um, ones cussing us out? Block. How tall are you? Five, four and a half. Someone asked if you were five, eight also. And I was like- Five, eight. Maybe because you had heels on? Oh, yeah. I'm five, eight. She's five, four, four and a half. I'm just gonna say five, five. Okay, that fair sounds, enough. That sounds great. Five, four and a half sounds kind of like I'm trying to be five, five. Let's see what other questions we have. Would Lindsay be a teen mo on Teen Mom if she was offered? Well, is this gonna come out? We don't have to answer that one. Okay. How did you and Lindsay cross paths? Um, we, I don't think we ever really talked about it on the so podcast. But how did we cross paths? I met Javi before you. You met Javi before me. I think you also had talked to like Leah and Chelsea before we ever talked. And then we started talking on Twitter. And Chelsea and Cole watched the show that I was on before. So did I. Me and Javi used to watch it. So, yeah, and then we talked on Twitter, because I guess we were both moms. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I guess that's just how. I think Leah was, like, going to use the girl that used to do my makeup all the time, was going to use her for, like, CMA Fest or something. Leah? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, but then ended up not using her or something. It's really weird. Like the reality TV world, we were just talking about this on the podcast the other day. The reality TV world of people, like whether you've been on a show as a contestant or um, you're on an active show or whatever it is, it's like for some reason that's like your comfort zone of like the group that you travel in. Yeah. And like you talk to people. And it's not like you're trying to pigeonhole yourself into like the group of reality TV people, but it's people that kind of like understand what you're doing because it's really kind of hard to understand if you're not doing it or it. haven't mm -hmm. done it um and, and like goes, the youtube i was gonna say that goes for like i think um just the media in general like not just like reality tv but like social like um instagram influencers youtubers and then like reality tv is kind of like coming together like you've got like the blogging world mm -hmm. and then you've got like your youtubers and then you've got like your straight up IG models and yep. then you've got, you know, reality, reality TV. TV people. Mm -hmm. I could agree with that. I'm pretty sure that was 10 questions, but we could do one more. Let's do it. Um, we don't want to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I love Dallas, but not for this trip at all. Um, I haven't been a fan of Dallas. Is this your first time here? No, I've been here several times. And you're not a fan ever or just this trip? Ever. You didn't tell me that. But it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Dream guest mm -hmm. star for Coffee Combos. Love listening every week. Chrissy Teigen. Okay. That would be... She's so funny. She would be great. Her Instagram's so funny. You guys don't follow Chrissy her Teigen. Her Twitter is funny. Everything about her's funny. She's just funny. <laughs> Anyway, I think that was 10 questions, like, but... What would be your answer? I don't know. Like, before, I feel like it would have been, like, Demi Lovato or something, but I really think that Post Malone would be so funny. I don't know if I've ever heard Post Malone talk other than, like... You've never seen his episode of Ridiculousness? The only thing I've ever heard him say is, like, G-Wagon, G-Wagon. First of all, I'm about to show you this video of... What was, um... Post Malone... Dicino. Dicino. Hold on. Just just hold on. I remember seeing one thing one time about Post Malone that he was like the top person that had ordered like the most Postmates and like the history of Postmates. What? Yeah. Leon Dicino. Have you heard that? Because I think it's true. 
Hold on, let me just show her this video of Leon DeChino. Who the heck is Leon DeChino? It's fucking Post Malone. It's his alter ego and his short shorts and he's dancing and he's so funny. Like he just doesn't give Chill any fucks. literally wants to marry Post Malone. So anybody that's watching, <laughs> If you have connections to Posty, he's never going to respond to me if you're making me sound like a groupie. He he liked one of Kale's comments. No, he responded he to responded me on Twitter. He responded to Kale on Twitter one time. Okay. So I don't know if that was like throwing it out there that he might be interested. He was not interested. Was that before his plane crash or after? That was after. Let me tell you a little story. Mm. Hey, girl. You would definitely be friends with him. I heard a sound and I thought to myself, what was that? What was that? I got up and checked. Like, what are these shorts? He Don't you love him? Kid. Yeah, it's so funny. so great. No, but it, that's somebody that you would really be friends with. Like, he would be your best friend. Like, that's art right there, you know? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I just feel like you like anything that Post Malone does. So, like, if he, to if he like, was on YouTube eating a taco, you would be like, that's the funniest thing ever. He's just a good energy and a good vibe mm -hmm. that I would for sure want to be around. Yeah. Like, yeah. he will probably wear this outfit. He probably would. You guys would probably be twins. Yeah, I'm down. So he would be my dream guest for Coffee Combos podcast. Well, this has been fun. This has been fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos of us doing stupid shit, <laughs> leave it in the comments below. Bye.